Hello everyone, it's Christine. Welcome back to the Flourish Planner channel. I'm really excited to share with you some new GoodNotes 6 features. It's been a while since I've updated you guys on some of the latest and there's some really cool stuff. So let's just jump right into it. First, you just wanna make sure that your GoodNote 6 is updated. So head to the App Store, go to GoodNote 6, click that button and you will be good to go. Let's start with one of my favorite updates, folder customization. If you're like me and you have way too many notebooks inside of GoodNotes, organizing them in folders is a game changer. And now you can customize your color and icon to make it super personal to what you are using that folder for. So you'll just tap on the folder and you can see you have all of these different colors that you can choose from, as well as different icons. This is perfect for quickly identifying and color coordinating different folders within your GoodNotes. You can see I have a pink one for journals, a orange one for covers, green for notes, blue for planners. This may seem like a small update, but trust me, it is a game changer when it comes to organizing all of your notes within GoodNotes. Next up, we have stroke stabilization, and this feature helps smooth out your handwriting so it looks neater and more consistent. You can turn it on by going into your pen settings and adjusting the stabilization slider. If you set your stabilization to 100%, your strokes will be super smooth. Now, this might not feel the most natural, so you can play around with it to see which one works right for you. But overall, if you want your handwriting to look more polished, definitely play around with this feature because it's gonna really help smooth out your handwriting. You can also utilize this tool in the highlighter feature as well. You can access it in the same way by just tapping into your highlighter settings and adjusting that stroke stabilization. This is a must use feature for anybody who is a student and takes a lot of handwritten notes or somebody like me who's doing a lot of digital planning and wants their planner to look super clean. GoodNotes also introduced a new pencil tool, and I have to say, this is one of my favorites. It feels so much like a real pencil, and that's because it actually adjusts based on the angle that you write at. So if you write head on like a normal pencil, it'll show up as a thin line, but if you write on an angle, it will shade just like a normal pencil. You can also adjust the stroke size and the pencil color, and you can create an entire palette just for your pencil. This makes it super ideal for people who are using GoodNotes as a sketchbook or for students who are doing hand-drawn sketches in their notes. I personally love using the pencil tool in all of my digital journals because I feel like it gives it that real life analog effect that I absolutely love. You can also toggle on the draw and hold feature which will snap the pencil to different shapes. And this means that if you draw a rough circle, square, or triangle, GoodNotes will automatically recognize it and snap it into a perfect shape. This is so helpful if you want to create clean diagrams, organize your ideas, or just make your notes look neater. So definitely don't sleep on the pencil tool, it's one of my absolute favorites. The next feature is both creative and functional, and that is the tape feature and the addition of creating custom tape. You can create your own tape with any thickness, color, or pattern that you want. When you open up your tape settings and hit plus, you'll see that you have an option to add a solid color, upload from files, or customize a preset. Adding a solid color is a classic option, and you will just pick whatever color you want, and it will create a tape based on what you chose. Uploading from files allows you to create a tape based on any file that you have. I just picked a icon from one of my sticker packs, and I can create a tape based on that, but you can use Pinterest pictures or anything that you want. And the preset option allows you to create a tape based on the preset patterns that GoodNotes has within the tape feature. So you can just adjust the colors to your liking and create your own custom tape. You can also toggle on straight tape, which will keep it straight, or react to pen rotation, which will adjust based on the angle of your Apple Pencil. This tape is perfect for adding to all of your digital planners as a cute little touch, but what tape is actually meant for is something like this. If you're studying, you can cover up the answers with the tape and then test yourself, and then you'll just tap on the tape to see if you got the answer right. This is perfect for students and can make your studying sessions a lot more creative and fun, so definitely check out the tape feature and start creating your own custom ones. All right, this next one is huge. Before, if you wrote something in GoodNotes and you wanted to change it, you would have to erase it and rewrite it, but now you can actually edit your handwritten text just like type. All you do is grab the text that you wanna change with the lasso tool, tap on it, hit the little A button, and then you can adjust your text as you please. This is perfect for reorganizing your handwritten notes or plans without having to erase full sections. You can simply just highlight it and adjust the text as you need. So whether you're fixing mistakes or just cleaning up your notes, this feature is a total time saver. Another super fun addition to GoodNotes 6 is sticky notes. Now you can add these little stickies anywhere that you want, just like you would on paper. Of course, you can make them in whatever color that you want and even create your own little sticky note color palette with all of your favorite colors. These also come in three different shapes, square, wide, and tall, with three different sizes of small, medium, and large. I personally love using sticky notes within my digital planners to add reminders or time blocks to my schedule. I also like adding these to my journals or scrapbooking pages to add context to different 
different photos. But if you're somebody who uses GoodNotes to collaborate with other people, maybe you're in a corporate setting taking notes during a marketing meeting and you wanna add a sticky note to create a content strategy, you can add comments and even share these sticky notes with other people on your team. So that way you guys can start a chat within that sticky note, making it super functional. So whether you're planning out content or just jotting down some to-dos, the sticky note feature is super handy. If you're someone who struggles with focusing, the Timekeeper feature is for you. GoodNote 6 now has a built-in Pomodoro style timer so you can set different work sessions and take breaks without needing a separate app. You can also create different custom modes which will set the timer automatically and you can create these for different things in your life that you have like studying, note-taking, journaling, scrapbooking, planning. Within the Timekeeper tool, all you do is hit my modes, tap new, you can create a mode name, add an icon, a session duration, and then you can hit save and and now that mode is saved within your GoodNotes app so that way you always have it on hand. So definitely check out the Timekeeper if you want productive studying or deep work sessions. And finally, GoodNotes 6 now has an AI assistance feature called Ask GoodNotes. This is an AI powered tool that helps you get more out of your notes. You can ask it to summarize your notes, explain concepts, or even answer questions based on what you've written. It's like having a built-in study buddy or assistant. I personally used it to help come up with some meal ideas based on the grocery list that I wrote. So whether you're a student or a corporate professional or just an everyday GoodNotes user like me, Ask GoodNotes is gonna be a feature that you come back to again and again to help you with your daily tasks. GoodNote 6 is seriously stepping up their game with these updates. They're also always dropping new ones, so I'll definitely be making more of these in the future. Let me know in the comments which feature are you most excited about, and also comment below if you want a full beginner's guide to GoodNote 6 where I go over every single feature because there's so much more that this app can do. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.